What do you love most about life while black? What I love um, is the more and more that I study, the more that my data shows that we're the closest thing to God. And the more that I learn about my people and my lineage, I find more and more that a lot of people like to say that we're gods with a small g. I believe that we are God. We are made out of the same thing that God is made out of. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that we've been separated from the true and middle, 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 the true and middle. Welcome to Wild Black, a seriously opinionated podcast bringing you the real and raw on anything happening while black. If black culture's there, we're there. If you're pissed or empowered, then let's talk about it. Ride with us on this all black everything. Everybody, welcome back to Wild Black. Welcome back, welcome Be glad back. glad to have you here again. Season three, baby, season Ooh, three, we're here. Opening it up. Man, it is... Can I interrupt for a second? It's really crazy. I know, and y'all don't even yeah, know who ahead, this is ahead. yet, man. It was really crazy, boy. We were just talking. He was like, yeah, dog, yeah, man. Everything's cool, yeah, man. New York, blah, blah, blah. Then he said, hello, hi. <laughs> <laughs> he got some talking about Barry White in this motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm just making sure, yeah. man. I just, yeah. I didn't want to say motherfucker. We could say motherfucker, you know. No, I was like, yeah, yeah you do this shit, don't you know? I feel at home. I hit it with that. I have seen that with since it. radio days. Yeah, man, we all fucking this bitch. Hello, hi. This is, this is W Ball. That's right. That's right. <laughs> My kids say, that must be your podcast. I hear it when you at work. I hear it when you at work. We can switch it like that. Yeah. Hey, y'all already heard the guest. So you know it's gonna be a real one. Let me go ahead and introduce you <laughs> to our guest. You know what matter before that? This has been a long time coming. We only been here a year. This brother was on the short list of guests we wanted from the very beginning. From the it was top. him, Killer Mike, Killer Mike, KRS One, mm -hmm. Ava Duvernay. And we we got we got one of the four, and we ain't stopping until we get all of them. Right. It's going to be good. But let me introduce you. So today we have a really special guest with us in the studio. And this brother is super familiar with the type of shit we talk on Wild Black. Because Straight he along. talks that shit himself all the time. He's a Grammy Award women producer, a recording artist, a philanthropist, an actor, and very soon to be a podcaster. Huh? In addition, mm -hmm. he's the activist behind the God Box album, and lecture series that's been labeled the Starter Kit to Consciousness. Now, he doesn't know this, but in a nod to some of our shared history, he was also my SGA president while we were on the campus of Southern University. Oh, that's dope. See, there you go. Oh, see, you got, you got, you got oh, about, go through the yo, plug I mean, your, right your shit just went through the roof right oh, yeah. here, dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I was really wondering, to be honest with you, I was really wondering why uh, I've been very selective right. about you know, the shows that I'm on. We so appreciate Because the thing that I, I don't want to do, I don't want to become a talking head. Right. Mm -hmm. You got to protect I, your I, brand, I, too. I, um, Absolutely. One of, the thing, one of the things is is that, uh, and, and I want to take some time to get some new ideas, too. Right, right. Um, the, it was funny, man. Um, I took a break for a minute, and, and we'll explain later yeah, yeah. on in the show why I took, I, I stepped back for a minute. I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you. Right now, um, Right after Obama, right. especially black people, um, it was sort of cool to be black while Obama was president. And as soon as Trump became president, black folks had to pick their side. Yeah. So there was a lot of people who we really thought that was for us that's showing their ass. Mm -hmm. And my dad always told me, if somebody show you their ass, smell it. Mm. So what I wanted to do was pull myself back. Right. Because for a long time, people thought I was crazy. Right. Like, one of the things I told people about Trump was when a crazy motherfucker became president, then a person, that black person that everybody thought was it crazy. Because everybody else is crazy. Then, no, no, no. Now they start making sense. Right, right, right. It's like, you feel he, what I'm he, saying? He was not a fool. He was he right. Because I, this, the shit I had been saying, right. like, even my homies in the hood was like, dog. 
that shit was real. I, we thought your ass was crazy, crazy. but like <laughs> we get it now. Yeah, it makes and, sense. And and for me, bro, I think Trump is one of the best things that has happened to black people. Oh, one, he's a, he's, in a, he's in a, a very superpower. Long time. He has unveiled all this right. shit that we didn't the see mask. or didn't even believe was out there. Well, this is this is this is the easy way that you can say it. Right. You remember. Right before Trump became president, the liberal white person's key word was post-racial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ain't heard that shit in a yeah. long time. That shit was, it was never true. Be it's so far behind us now. Think about how white post supremacist that is in its nature. Yeah. That's like me telling a woman that pregnancy don't hurt that much. Right. How the fuck would I know? Or saying the shit yeah. like, I don't see color. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you right. do. You, the you fact that you I need you to see Watch color. Watch this. The fact that you acknowledge right. color right. means that you, you see, see color. Right. You ain't colorblind, bitch. And you're lying. proves that you're a liar. Yeah, you're Correct. fucking lying. Right, right, right. right. Correct. You're um, delusional. And, and by saying that you don't see color, you, trivial, you, you, you make my experience in America trivial. Right. right. Yes. Right. Within itself. Right. Yes. You don't see color. You don't see me. And and, and and when they kicking our ass on the side of the road, them motherfuckers definitely see color. Right. Oh, yeah. when, when you get so past the taxes in New York, so they it, see color. <laughs> yeah, right. So if if that's like me telling a woman, I don't see pain. You fucking right. lie. Right. right. Yes, you do. And you yes, insulted you do. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but, but go ahead, brother. I, no, you I, good. Yeah, I just... Um, that's how it goes I just while, wanted... Right. I, I was wondering why Regina um picked this show. Right. Cause um, this is the first time she picked a show that I didn't I I didn't have no say so. She just Ooh, said you go into this spot. Regina, like, oh, we appreciate like, that love. Okay, yeah. Regina, we appreciate that, that love. <laughs> um, but but what I will love. say, bro, is that everything in the universe is in the line for a reason, bro. And, Amen. Um, Absolutely. I, I, I don't. I am one of the few people who I believe that things are destined to happen. Um, but I don't believe in destiny. I'm with you. Because if if <laughs> a lot of my Christian friends get mad when I say this, um, because if I believe in destiny, then it's not my fault. It's God's fault. Right. Uh -huh. So why are you mad at me? And if you believe in destiny, your place is already set. Like exactly. you have no Correct. control this over the impact already, that the you make. The course has already been drawn right. out. And I think that the, that's the reason why we suffer. The reason why we suffer is because there are things that are destined to happen, and maybe I can even believe that maybe the Most High even right you you're, you're more predestined to make it happen. Let, let's say, let's yes. say, mm -hmm. but you still have a choice. Right, choice is still and very much there. And as far as that we go away from the things that maybe we were supposed to help the universe do, then that's the reason why we suffer. And from a Buddhist standpoint. That's the reason why you keep living over and over again. There's Amen. something that we all supposed to learn. Mm -hmm. that Continuously. Until, right, then until, until get we it. get it right. You're good. Wild Black Family, you heard the voice already. Right. You already know who it is. If you've been listening to us for a minute, right, you, we didn't you, talk you, about this, brother. You've already anticipated and you know who, who in the building it is. It is my mission. Hey, and y'all hit, oh, hit me on the gram if they've been talking about me like, yeah, this motherfucker did. They did. Y'all been trying to get you on here for a minute. My yeah. Mississippi brethren, Mr. David Banner. Uh, David Banner. Yeah. Yes. Woo. We here, yes. we here. Well, look, bro. What we always do mm -hmm. is we jump into our little fun section called Wild Black Shit. Our listeners love it. We have a good time. Helps you to get to know our guest a little bit more. Mm. They already know you, but we still can't skip it. So you ready? Oh, you ready? Be upset if we skipped it. All right, <laughs> All right jump in, bro. Let's Hit do it. With let's it. do it. Let's do it. All right. So this had work. Three questions. It's gonna open you up. You know, share what you like. He ain't already. Is. I was just, I was just right, about right. to say. Introduce me. I, I, I don't know if you want. I don't even know if you want some more. Yeah, it's, it's wide open, wide okay. open. So we got two great questions, and then one signature question. Signature question is is the one everybody loves, and that'll be the last question. Okay. So first question: If you had to pick one, who would you commit to three rounds in the ring with in their prime? In their prime. In their prime. Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather, Sugar Ray Leonard, and the last option is a black Mississippi mama angry at her child for talking back because you was in the front with your little friends talking slick. 
with your want to be grown ass. Okay, am I a child at that point, or child? am I David Banner? Oh shit! Now you look, 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 look you look, are David look, Banner. Look, but if I'm David Banner, I take the mama. But it's, it's, <laughs> it's your mama, and she pissed yeah. right now. Well, I, I'll take my mama because I'll tell y'all a quick story. All right. Um, me and my mom had a very, very special relationship. People always said that they didn't understand how I developed the type of respect that I have for my mom right. based on how tight we were. And I'll tell y'all a quick story. Um, <clears throat> when I think I was four years old, and my mom, she was in New Orleans, and she was a single mother raising me by herself. Because it was funny, um, I don't, I've never seen my uh, biological father. People right. mm. See, people think, my father is Zeno Crump, the guy that raised me from five since I was five years old. Okay. Right. Um, so that's that's my father. We talking about the sperm donor. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, mm-hmm. My mom was actually married to him, but my mom was the type of woman, you only going to put your hands on me one time. Right. She said, you might as well kill me because you ain't going to see me no more. So I guess he put his hands on her. And when I was eight months and my mom, it was funny, I was shipped. Uh, a lot of people don't know this. I was shipped to, uh, I was shipped to Mississippi on a pound of weed and Martell. Wow. Teething at the time. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. And um, so so the point was, my mom, she was she was working at this grocery store and going to college at the same time. We was catching a bus in New Orleans, and it was raining. My mom took off her shirt. It was at the bus stop. It was raining so hard, it wasn't a covered bus stop. Right. And she put her shirt over me so the rain wouldn't get on me. And my mom looked me directly. That's a black mother. There, my mama baby. looked me directly in the eyes, and she said, "This is not fair, but I need you to be my little man." But my, I, I tell y'all this story for this reason: is that when my mom would whoop me, it didn't hurt, but I would cry because I hurt a feeling. Mm. Like I grew, I grew. My mom was short, so I grew up big, quick, mm-hmm. and I would cry. Just because, like, me and my mother's relationship was so fucking tight. Right. That, and, 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 and the other reason, so she wouldn't tell my dad, because he beat the shit out of me. <laughs> so I better get this ass whooping <laughs> now. now. But I, I'll yeah. tell you how tight me and my mom was. When I was in the streets, when I was um, in high school, right. uh, I would hear my mom, when I would come home, go, <sighs> That's our relief, he's here. So I would come home early. Like, if I wasn't in the, no debauchery, or if I wasn't in the, you know, Something really special. Right. I would come home like, you know, I was supposed to be home at whatever time. I'll come home at 10 if I real live wasn't doing nothing. Right. Just so she could get some sleep. So, like, I, I, I say that I would probably take that because my mom licks really did hurt like that. <laughs> right. All right, let's and get the question, too. Y'all ready for this one? Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to apologize ahead of time to the listeners, but I had to get greedy with this one. Okay. This for all my Mississippi folks, for all my Southern University <laughs> folks. Everybody else ain't going to have a clue what we're talking about, but it's all good. You're going to have to explain it after, after the answer comes <laughs> Break through. it down. All right. All right, check it out. It's your last meal, mm-hmm. right? Last meal. For whatever reason, you know this is your last meal. Mm-hmm. You got four options. Tell me which one you're choosing and why. You got E&L Barbecue. Shit, I know about Jackson, E&L. Mississippi. I see mm-hmm. the smile. You got Tony Seafood, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You got the Church Chicken right across the hump from Southern University. And you got Mama Hamill, Southern Cooking in Jackson, Mississippi. Where you going and why? Uh, I know where I'm going. There was this girl <laughs> named Renisha Stanford. Mm-hmm. I don't want her to be my last meal. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. I hear that. Uh-huh. I know that wasn't. I had to make it. Or D. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, y'all. I had to take this out. I had to take this out. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. 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 yeah that's Renisha, a, you, feel Renisha, it the, you can feel that in. Renisha Stafford. Yeah. Renisha, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> Renisha, we got to Now, we can be in the back of one of them restaurants, <laughs> but... <laughs> So, you know, we're going to hit you with this last question. This last question is quite, it's, it's the signature question. Okay. Um, what do you love most about life while black? Hmm. Ah, shit, I don't know nothing else. Huh? That's a hard question. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what, what I love um, is the more and more that I study, the more that 
my data shows that we're the closest thing to God. And the more that I learn about my people and my lineage, I find more and more that we are not, a lot of people like to say that we're gods with a small g. Um, I believe that we are God. Right. Now, I don't know if we the ass hair or the booger. I don't know what we are, but we are made out of the same thing that God is made out of. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about something um, yesterday. We could create babies, and I could take a pistol, shoot you in your head, and take your life right now. Real God-like. You know, to be able to take things and pull things from the unknown. The problem is, is that we've been <clears throat> separated from the true umbilical cord. So, like, I'm even learning how, you know, the more I become in tune, the more I meditate, the more that I study, the more um, I ponder, things become more and more connected. You know, even... With me saying, I don't know why. I, I'll show y'all right here on the show so y'all won't think I'm spooky. And I am. <laughs> um, <laughs> I told y'all I didn't even know why Regina picked mm -hmm. this show. And y'all done already connected with Jackson, yep. Baton Rouge. Yep. It's all kind of serendipity, but it's not serendipity. That's it right. is God's law. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, we... we 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 don't learn anything. We are remembering. We are putting God back together. I'm with that. You we feel me? It. So like 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 for me, bro, I, that's the greatest thing. But it's also the most painful thing because I'm starting to feel like those of us who happen to be enlightened, we may. I'm not, and I'm not totally sold on this. We may right. have to suffer more than anybody else. Because we know more. Correct. Yeah. It seems Correct. like... I'm 100% with that. I'm, 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 I'm with you 100 on that. I don't know what happened, but this is a funny example, but it's the truth. And when I tell people this, they freak the fuck out. Ignorance is bliss. Um, it seems like we're going to have to totally switch places with white people before we start being God again. It's like we're going to have to go all the way down to the bottom. Because mm -hmm. I believe that we are, well... I mean, history and science shows. Well, not his story, but the right. truth. Um, we had everything. I like how you We're people that. of the sun. We're people of the sun. 70% um, of our resources that sustain Europe has to be shipped in. Mm -hmm. And most of that shit comes from Africa. But the point is, is that we didn't need shit to sustain life. Right. All we had to do is pick the food off the damn ground or... Eat. We could fuck every day, basically. Everything. We had life in abundance. Gold and diamonds wasn't shit to us. That was a part of our environment. Yeah. That was that was that was as common as dust. Yeah. You feel me? Mm hmm Um, but watch this. We are people of the sun, right? White people are allergic to the sun. I saw an article once from a white professor who said there's no way that Superman could be white. Superman is essentially a battery. He gets his power from the yellow sun. White people are allergic to the sun. Mm, mm, mm. You put them out in the sun, they die. You put us out in the sun, we get stronger. They thrive. So watch this. <laughs> like but when the sun, when, in the summer, black folks in America turn up. What do they do Go when out. it's summer? Oh, 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 oh. Cause, cause, cause we, we gotta pull it together. All right, <laughs> Listen. All right, all right, all right. What do they do yeah. in the summertime? Go outside. Oh, man, we go outside. Grill. That is not true. Connect. No, they don't. What do we do? What we do. We don't stay inside. We're with the fucking air conditioning. Unless your mama puts you outside. <laughs> oh, okay, now, now we're in a cold up. room. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. We're in a cold, damp ass room. Black yeah. folks don't want to go outside during the summertime. Only reason why we go outside is to either air condition the broke Look, or our mama said, like in Mississippi, until somebody get your ass on the grill. Outside. Then we can go outside and get so that plate. So watch this. So watch this. Where are white folks at during the summertime now? They're outside. Oh, they on the they're water. On the beach. They on the water. Yeah, they're, they're, they're on the beach. I can't stand trying the beach. to soak that sun up. They're getting tanned. So watch this. We then went back to their natural habitat in a cold ass cave, running from the sun. Mm -hmm. And who we act like? The longer that we stay in America, the more that we adapt the traits of the most evil animal 
on this fucking planet. Mm, say that again. And this is not, because mm. one thing that my Muslim friends teach me, especially um, Brother Edward Muhammad, is that we have to have empirical data. Yes. So I, 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 I try not to be emotional. Um, I remember when I was at Southern, I actually did this. I asked a white teacher, said, excuse me, um, can you give me the Webster definition of a devil? And I'm mm-hmm. paraphrasing. She said right. one that creates drama and uh, pain and sp- sp- pillage everywhere they go, basically. I'm just paraphrasing. Right. And I said, can I ask you a question? Everywhere an old white man has gone, what have they done? Destroyed. And she read that Village. definition back. I said, so what does that make them? And this white lady said, the fucking devil. Mm. Not by emotions. Because if you, if, you, if you think about, most of the things that white people talk about, black folks about, is something that they heard from their cousin yeah. or their sister, cousin, uncle that happened to them. No, 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 no. I, everywhere I go speak, I, you know, a lot of times I ask, uh, I can't say, well, a lot of times I go and speak, not every time. I'll ask black folks, like, how many black folks have literally been face-to-face with white supremacy or racism? And 85 to 95% of every, per, every person in that room, unless, like, a lot of times when it gets, uh, they'll tell you that they have personally encountered racism, Absolutely. whether it's from cops, yep. right. whether it's from a bigot on the side of the road, whether it's Airbnb, whatever the fuck it may end up being. Right. right. Um, so it's not emotional as it pertains to us. But what I will say is this. To answer your question, is that I am, I am humbled to take um, what did what, what, what did Talib call Kwali call his album, the beautiful struggle. The beautiful struggle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I am honored to, because I used to always wonder, like, why does shit always have to be so hard on me? The beautiful struggle. I, I just want to sneak this question in because I heard you mention the beautiful struggle. Tell me what you think about the idea of the word nigga, the being a nigga, and the way it was used by our oppressors to hold us down, plus the way it's being used today by us. Tell me a little bit about your idea of the concept of a nigga. Nigga was the greatest experiment that even white folks didn't know that it would work that well. Mm. Like, we didn't come off the boats acting the way. That's why when white people look at us and turn their they noses up, bitch, this this what you made. Yeah. Don't act like you surprised. Nigga. Yeah. Like, I, I, I even found out the reason why Southerners speak the way that they speak is because the only person that we got English from was the cracker, who was the slave driver. Mm-hmm. And he was, the closer that you were to the slaves, the lower you were in the pecking, I mean, in the pecking order. Yep. Mm-hmm. So we had the dumbest the cracker in the fucking town teaching us English. Yep. That's the reason why our dialects are the way that they are. These were d- these were not dumb people. Mm-hmm. You may have called a fucking scientist, but if you don't know English, you don't know English. And um, Anthony Broder, who it was, is the reason why I became him and Malcolm were the reason why I became um, um, conscious. He was the Anthony Broder who wrote from the Broder file. Some people call him Tony Broder. Um, he taught me a lesson because there was something in one of his books that um, one of my mentees said co- conflicted against each other. He told me something that was so powerful. He said, first of all, David Banner, the African language within itself, you pick it, because I know it's a continent. Right. It's so advanced that the English language was and is so young that it cannot hold the dexterity of what their words mean. Yeah, meaning it can't be translated. So you can't even fucking translate some of the words. Yep, that's deep. That's true. So, so... Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead to the next Ooh, No, you good. Uh, you yeah, good. Well, you you good. good. We love yes, it. Sir. And that's you so give it to us today. Listen, I want to hit us with the dope quote real quick. Yeah. Listen, as you already know, the dope quote anchors the episode. It is a piece of literature, a quote, history, a lyric from someone typically black that is definitely about being black, and I want to hit you with today's. Yeah. The black skin is not a badge of shame, but rather a glorious symbol of national greatness. That's from Mr. Marcus Garvey. I chose that quote because 
I think that a lot of us have forgotten the power that we really have. Have forgotten the fact that our black skin truly does make us great. And I want today to be a conversation that is introspective, right? What can we do as a community, as people, to improve our situation and ourselves? So I want to read that quote one more time. And then, Ben, I want to get your thoughts on it, brother. The black skin is not a badge of shame, but rather a glorious symbol of national greatness, Mr. Marcus Garvey. Brother, what comes to your mind when you hear that quote? First of all, um, I think we, we follow so many theories. Marcus Garvey, Marcus Garvey and Harriet Tubman were two of the only folks that I look at and say they did it. Yeah. And I don't understand why black people don't follow yep. their blueprint. Um, I'm going <laughs> to tell you again what people would call serendipity. Mm -hmm. um, and so you would know I'm telling you the truth. Look on my Instagram. <clears throat> um, I have the Constitution to the UNIA. Okay. There were only 20 constitutions that were written out. I bought one of them for nice. a whole lot of money. Right. Because I don't understand why. Marcus Garvey and what they did in the UNIA is the foundation to most black organizations and most of these organizations would yeah. never give Marcus, Marcus Garvey yeah, his credit. credit. He, mm -hmm. did it, yeah. he did it, dog. He did it all the way. I'm talking about when black folks was getting, I, bro, the, the money that he was able to put together, the things that he was, he was able to do, he pulled black people from all over the globe. We have all kind of technology. And, and was can't unapologetic about how and, he did it. Right, and can't. And he said something was so powerful, bro, because I, it was funny, um, I started tweeting out um, one of his books, and it went from $50, then it started charging $1,500 oh, wow. on Amazon after I started tweeting about this book. But he said in this book, it started moving. he said in this book, um, and I'm paraphrasing, and I use this in my lectures all the time. He was basically saying he doesn't, that, first of all, we all know that there's a difference between racism and white supremacy. Absolutely. If you don't know the difference, it's not for me to tell you. You need to research it, figure it out, find it, memorize it. But because without power, mm -hmm. you know, you ain't nothing but a bigot. We all bigots. That's right. But the difference between us being bigots and white supremacy is white people have the power That's right. to Supreme. stop you from doing shit. Correct. Right. We can't stop white folks from doing a motherfucking thing. Nope. So my, my, my point is, is Marcus Garvey said, basically, I don't have a problem with white people's racism. I have a problem with the lack of black racism. Mm. We should look out for, I for always us. say lions take care mm -hmm. of lions before they take care of tigers. Mm -hmm. right. White people are supposed to do the shit that they do. Now, their level of debauchery and evil to do it I can actually break it down to a scientific level. They from the fucking cold. They from the fucking mountains. Like, even down to from, from a genetic standpoint, they are wired to be evil. We talked about that before yeah. the show. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. They're definitely sad. Yeah, Thank yeah. you, bro. Yep. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. um, but my point is, is... We put everybody before we put our... We, we show up for everybody. Yeah. One of the biggest mistakes that I think that we make in this country mm -hmm. is from politics to just the everyday struggle, we give our constituency away yeah. before people even ask for. Yeah. I don't have a problem with us helping any group of people, but let them ask first. That's right. Because if, if they ask... We can say, okay, we're going to say yes. Consciousness, yes. But if we say yes, we need to see you show up. That's right. I don't see any specialized groups coming to black people's uh, assistance and defense, major assistance numbers right. about mm -hmm. anything that happens to our community. Yeah. yeah. But we run like dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Killer Mike say, we run like fucking dogs to anybody else's help, and people who have historically turned their back or uh, co-opted our movement yep. and then jump off of the plane when it's time to be black for real. Mm -hmm. yep. Or African for did. real. Right. So in me saying that, it's, it's when I think about that statement, 
I think about our lack of racism. Yeah. To be honest with you, people come to me about every. Right. If it ain't got nothing to do with our people. Well, I can believe you get it all day long. I'm not doing it. Right. You consciously, you uh, consciously made that decision. It. I'm staying in my fucking lane. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I take so serious is that I have to be careful and I have to be responsible with what's given to me because black folks real life fuck with me. Regina told me stop saying this, but I, I'm going to say it one more time for you. I really think a lot of times they be like, man, them crackers going to kill that nigga. Yeah, we gonna love, we gonna love on him real quick. Hey, man. Because if you when, think when about you speak it, well, you hear that. We, we like watching here. the movie. Because we don't, we don't stand like, bro, I see all of the people that we say that are great. Why we didn't fuck with them while they were here? I don't want to hear that shit now. Right. I'm so glad you My said that. My homie right. in Chicago said yep. that. Yep. He was, like, bro, he was like, bro, he was like, bro, I don't want to hear no niggas talking about you, bro, when, if something ever happened to you. I don't want that shit to happen like they do everybody else. And, 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 and motherfuckers talking about flowers. Don't give me no flowers. Go to davidbanner.com <laughs> and buy some fucking swag. Right. Motherfucker, sign up right now for the David Banner podcast. Give That's me five right. motherfucking stars. Subscribe and then write a motherfucking comment because that's how they get a bread. That's my, it. My podcast is, it was, last time I checked, it was ranked 67 in the whole nation and I ain't even whispered a word shit. Mm-hmm. Because of the level yeah, that saw, they support. I saw one announcement. No, it was yeah. ready. Yeah. It was too. ready. It was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, but, look, before we get deeper, do this. Um, I want to hear more about it anyway. So before we jump into some of these deeper questions, tell us a little bit more about the podcast. podcast. Yeah. Oh, it's funny, bro, because I wasn't going to do a podcast. Right. Just be 100 with you. Um, which I always try to be, but um, bro, but it sounds like it fits you so well. You always yeah, got so like, much to say, the voice, and it matters. The, 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 the message, but see, the problem is, I only do that shit because I don't, I don't know anybody. Like, I know how I feel about my folks. Right, I don't, I right. don't know. No, no disrespect. Of course, you may be constipated. Right. I mean, who knows? I right. Don't, or the one thing that I know, consciousness is knowing that you exist. Right. You could be a fucking alien. I don't know what the fuck you are. I don't. Right. We we just don't know. Right. We want to know. The only thing that you truly know that exists, it's, and that's it's, why it's, you it's are conscious, in you. is you. you. Right. Correct. So sometimes I think maybe I'm the only one God put this on. Oh no. Because no 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 yeah, you, no, it's, no no. It's, but, but wait 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 wait. But you need to operate in that field. Exactly. That's what I was about right. to say. You need to yeah. operate yeah. in that field. Because um I love science fiction. Fiction shit, right? <laughs> I love science fiction. Um, yep. I'll tell y'all a quick story. And one yeah. of the reasons we'll talk about a banner vision a little bit later. Okay. Um, my focus is about making science fiction movies. That's what I'm going to spend my time with. And I'll tell you why. Um, and it's going to be black people in it. Oh, hell yeah. And we're going to win. Anything. All day. Every, if y'all get an opportunity, I need, even if y'all get a chance, you can put it, your shit on silent. Go look at my video, Black Fist. I be wondering, like, most of the shit black folks say that they won't, I done did this shit already, but we ain't really fuck with it like we should. But I want you to watch what I did in that video, and that's going to be similar to how my movies are. Uh, anyway, the point, the point and the reason why I want to make science fiction movies is a guy told me the story one time. It was a little girl. She was four years old. She mm -hmm. was crying. I mean, as if the world was coming to an end. And her dad, uh, her dad, of course, black black dad, black mother, but the dad came in and said, baby, why are you crying? She said, dad, are black folks going to exist in the future? And he, he said, why? She said, because I was watching the Jetsons and I didn't see none. Mm. Black people, yes. Mm. They're yes. preparing mm. for their future. You feel what I'm saying? And if you notice in any type of, anything that you do from your podcast to rapping to beats, videos, any art that you do, you can infinitely be anywhere. Mm -hmm. Outcast took us to Stankonia. Yeah, Stankonia. Tribe Called Quest took us to El Segundo. We create the narrative yeah. in that situation. Yep. And we create Watch the destination. This. Yeah. 90% of all R&B singers and rappers, they take you right back to the thing that they hate the most. They take you right back to the hood. Mm. And yes. if you think about the hood, yep. see, mm. a lot of people say, man, you should go back and do, Yo, well, no, not, I, don't, I don't necessarily believe that. The only reason why we in the hood because 
in most cases, our parents didn't have a fucking choice. Correct. So that's not right knowledge. I actually believe that that's lazy. I want to go create some shit because they usually put us like in in Baton Rouge. Because I was because I was SGA president and I worked. uh, I was able to work with Johnny Cochran before he died. Right. Um, If y'all remember the benzene benzene spill. Yep. That was actually, yep. yeah. bro, do you know I was yep. the last person to leave campus? I didn't leave campus. I didn't know that. And to every student was off there. Now, if some of the mother motherfuckers Man, we had, I had a ton of folks in my apartment that But watch was. this, though, dog. Do you know there's a 52% birth defect rate in Baton Rouge, where Southern is, because wow. they put us next to all those chemical plants. Wow, did not know that. Like literally, birth defect and like like a like like literally just deaths, dog. Fifty two fucking percent. That's, Fuck that's, that's blood crazy. Blood. Like, bro. Yeah. And so, wow. even even the things that we think are a choice are not a fucking choice. True. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So my my, my point because I, I went all the way. Oh, you're good. I went all the way. Um, well, I was trying to bring it. It, it makes me feel like I I want to go and. Do some shit you didn't expect me you to do. I want to, to do the shit that's right. Right. Science right, 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 right. The science fiction. So, mm-hmm. what I realized, going back, here's, here comes the serendipity again. Right, right. Going back to what we said before, it is not white people's responsibility to treat us right. I just, uh, man, I wish I had the, um, I forgot the name of the study. But um, this young man got on Instagram and was talking about why they're putting out all of these black... Uh, is it the Nielsen report? Um, don't don't quote me because I like to be right and exact, but he said okay. it was... I forgot the name of the report that comes out these certain amount of years. And it, it said from a business perspective that black people spend like like the 11th... Like, like uh, they come 11th in all countries. We spend, just black folks in America... So they're making Black Panther, they're making all of these Ariel and all of this kind of shit be black right. because of the money. 100. Yeah. The Correct. other reason is for the same reason why integration happened. Mm. Imagine this. Look now at every other subcon- subsection yep. of people in this country, right? Look at where they are now. Look at where the Russians are now. Look at the, the subsection of Asians in this country now. Mm-hmm. How much power? Imagine what fucking black people would have been if we would have concentrated in our community. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't have a problem with integration, but you have to you have to create your own first. And y'all y'all may be very surprised if you remember when I was SGA president that the last twenty five percent of the year you never heard me speak on mm-hmm. campus. Unless you came out in front of the union, because they outlawed me from speaking. And the reason why I, they outlawed me is the reason why Southern is in the shape that it's in now. Not saying that I'm always right, but I was damn sure right, right about right. this. I, I at at the uh, I think it was a convocation. I told them because I went and studied. They didn't know how studied I was. Mm. That the reason for land grant colleges is to give us back those years Correct. Mm-hmm. that was taken from us in slavery. in slavery. And still to this day, we haven't been out of slavery longer than we were in. Correct. Let's be clear. Correct. Correct. Right. And most so, HBCUs are land grant So watch this. That's so watch right. this. And what is really supposed to be, and they'll never say this because most of these sellout-ass Negroes, is it's really supposed to teach you how to be African again. Mm. But you know what black colleges do? They give you all this education and send you the white folks to work. Mm-hmm. So what ends up happening, what I told them mm-hmm. is... We're not is designed that, to own our own stuff. We're what, designed to work for to, somebody to fuel the system. And, mm-hmm. and white people don't do that. White people don't send their kids right. to black people. As a matter of fact, I always they ask sure people, don't. and y'all can have this, I always ask people, do Jewish people let Nazis teach their kids? Not at all. Hell no. Not at all. Do Jewish people mm. send their children to work for Nazis? No, well, why no? Indeed. Fuck, do you send All your kids all day long? Uh, uh, you, Look, matter of fact, we have we have determined ooh. that that's what success looks like for us. Correct. Now. Go to school, get, get an education, job. and then go work for the same man whose family beat you into you the ground. Four million. H- have y'all? We don't even look at it like let's do our own thing. So l- let me yeah. go back to the podcast. That's not even talking. Let me go back to the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 it's all good. These are the best ones. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, we we can so flow the, with you. So what's funny about the podcast was that um, 
Curtis, who runs Patchwork. And right. that's the reason, one of the reasons why I'm shooting it in Patchwork. What uh, up, Sammy Approved? She came through, bless us one day from he Patchwork. Came, he came and he told me this. He didn't even want no money. You know, black folks that give you an idea. I always want something. And be like, right. Um, he said, David, as much as you influence people, he said, I calculated the time you spend on Instagram. Mm -hmm. If you take 10% of your followers and you do a 45-minute to an hour-long podcast each week, that's a fraction of the time that you spend, especially mm -hmm. with Instagram TV. Yeah. He said, and, and they got it on the website. It calculated. It was six figures. Mm -hmm. Six figures. And as soon as I put my podcast up, I had close to 10,000. So I had already met the quota. Okay. So he was like, dog. And then the most powerful, well, no, the second most powerful thing was, he was like, and do you know what the most valuable thing on this planet is now? Guess what it is? Data. It's data. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's analytics. 100%. He Greater said, so you are Greater giving these people your analytics for your fans for fucking free. Yep. And this was what sold me. Yep. When they kicked, when they kicked the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan off of the social, off social media, media platform. Facebook and Instagram, yeah. Now... I am nowhere comparable as it pertains to knowledge when it comes to the minister. I won't even put myself anywhere in right. that light. But I know I'm a lot harsher with the stuff I say. Right. So if they put him off, I've never heard him say he's only spoken the truth. Correct. So... If they did that to him, you have you got it on your. Who platform. am I to think that I'm not fucking next? That's right. Especially as a fucking attractive as I am around this bitch. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, so I love us. So in saying that, so in oh, say you snuck that in there. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Let me tell y'all what I believe. I believe that I am grateful. Right. I think humble is for slave. I truly believe I'm a god. And the physical depiction in this solar system of God is what? Mm -hmm. The physical thing that you can see and feel was the physical depiction of God in this, in this solar system. Well, when you think about it, it has to be the sun. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. The sun. All right? Absolutely. So watch this. <laughs> and what are white people allergic to? We go right back to the song. Oh, shit. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Which would make them the polar apple. <sighs> Let's keep going. Y'all um, keep, keep your emails and your and your DMs. We don't we don't need to hear. We know how you feel. Go so, ahead. So so watch this. So watch this. <laughs> they be We're, hot sometimes. But see, that's the problem. It's feelings. Mm -hmm. Yep, true. If you get to the empirical data, data, the facts, the reality, then all that shit feelings. falls off. And then yeah. when you think about the data, data's more valuable than right. Amen. So watch this. So watch this. It comes back. So. Once I saw that that happened to him, and I'm missing money, and I'm missing the opportunity to control the data with my fans, mm -hmm. with my podcast, I can pull my fans slowly away. So what I'm going to start doing is using Instagram as long as they allow me on their platform. And think about this. Let's, let's, I am a practical man. Right. If I created a platform, and no matter how good or bad I am, mm -hmm. If a white dude came on my platform and talked about me the way I expect it to happen, right. I would I would do it. Right. I'm just being. I mean, we recognize let's just we, don't, be we don't own it, it. so right. eventually you get kicked off when you yeah, say too you, much. Matter of fact, hey, at some point you become fact, too influential. They right. took they took your message. They took one of my posts off, and my fans went fucking wild. They went ballistic. They're good for that. And I told them, I said, hold on, I don't fucking blame them. Matter of fact. If I'm not being blocked, if I'm not in Twitter jail, then am I ain't I, talking no real enough? shit. Right. Am right. I, I ain't talking enough. no Impact real they shit, ain't then. Where it need to be. Exactly. Yep. What, yep. It, look, if ain't nobody so talking shit about you, right. if you ain't getting a death threat, if you ain't getting shut down, then you ain't saying enough. So, right. but, but, they ain't so, but to answer posts. your question directly, the podcast, to be honest with you, bro, it had gotten a little heavy because sometimes it feel like people think I'm going to save the world. Yeah. Maybe. 
but like I'm fucking tired. I want to have fun. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because I am who I am. We, we get that. We gonna yeah. talk some we get shit. That. We get exactly. That. But like, we gonna fucking kick it. Yeah. Too. We at get, the same time, and, cause we can do that. And I hate that white people have convinced us that we can't even tell jokes no more. Yeah. Oh, that's, Comedians that's getting crazy. Comedians can't even fucking tell jokes. Yeah. And, we're, we're, people and, get offended. and we keep following behind these, or these white folks and then what they gonna do, cause I watch rappers do it. I would always tell them, this is just art. All most of my rap partners, man, this shit real. This shit real. Now they put your ass in jail. Right. Because it's so fucking real. <laughs> I'm all, man, motherfuckers dry snitch on they self so much. Hey, man, this shit ain't nothing but this raps. Because <laughs> some of the shit I've done in real life, it ain't no statute of limitations. Correct. Right. And you ain't finna put it on no mm -hmm. wax. It ain't going. And even if I did, I, it's just, no. It's, it's just, just art. It's just this art. This is just a story exactly. I created. Yes. Relax. Exactly. I, I, and, and let me tell you what, I fuck them up every time. I say, if Stephen King... Can make horror mm, movies. Oh man! Why can't I make horror music? Amen. And I tell you something too, as because I'm I'm fighting <laughs> y'all. The first ones to get this. All right. I'm fighting with myself about the tone of my next album, and because the God Box one, like I'm, I'm just gonna open my heart up, and I don't do that much. We appreciate um, it. Yeah. I was really disappointed. Like. And I know that m most things in America are written on a kindergarten to third grade level. And I know the God Box was 12th grade. Work. Right. Um, but, like, I'm looking at all the stuff that we go through now. Like, m I watch people put up memes when the, when the stuff happened with Gucci. Yeah. Somebody pulled out the, hey, my, uh, that song when I say fuck Louis, fuck Gucci, yep. until they come to my hood. Yep. Fuck time for it. You know? Like, been I on said it. that, You've like, been on it. and I'd be like, been on it. I be watching the people who people run. And, and, and let me tell y'all this, and I want y'all to watch this. The people that we applaud, even the ones that we choose to be our leaders, including myself, is based on their ability to navigate themselves through white supremacy. Correct. 100. Not speak, yep. not give empirical, empirical data, data. Yep. not stand up yep. for our people. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's the people who are more successful. And if you think about it, it's only because I think of my Mississippi ways, I think with me being a Southerner, um, and what people don't understand, I was conscious in 11th grade. Shout out Fingerprint, Gen Sudin, um, Anthony Browder, Malcolm. Um, it's sad because we give our constituency away to the wrong people. True. And if you think about this, and, and, and please... Please, you all, before you judge what I'm about to say, listen. Get the full, digest the full concept, because I know it's going to sound like I'm dissing, but I'm not. Because I prayed, and I, I asked myself about two years ago, like, that I would try to never outwardly attack a black man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if he needs his ass tightened up because he's a detriment to our people. Do it in private. Yeah, in private, but I, we might, but I'm fighting a bigger war. But we also can't misconstrue an attack with the truth. Right, the truth, exactly. Yeah. All right, so watch this. I told somebody recently, and I think, I think you all going to understand why I'm tying this together. I love the movie Black Panther. Right. First oh, yeah. of all, well, with the exception now, the, the new Spider-Verse movie, um, that shit was so dope. That was, with, that was crazy Miles, dope. Yeah, that was... Bro, I still I watched it twelve times and I still it's real. get something new, new from every time. It. Um, oh, it's lace. Do you remember when when he had Spider Man tied up and then uh, it, it, his um, Spidey, sense. Spidey sense went off a little bit and then it went off. Mm -hmm. That uh -huh. was before he knew like, that his, his like uncle his, was what, what, actually what, what, yeah. the bad guy, but he was in a bad place. But he was good. It, yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Point was. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me make the point. Let me make the point. I said, you guys better watch. Allowing your children, allowing Black Panther to be your children's hero. And everybody's like, David Ben, I'm so surprised that you would say that. I love Wakanda. Oh, do share. Yeah. That's do cool. Share. That's cool. I agree. I I've got my own reads. I can't wait to I, hear these, I, though. Watch. Yeah. But watch this, though. <clears throat> what is the name of the guy who plays Black Panther? Chadwick Boseman. Mm hmm. Young Chadwick. Okay. <laughs> I do not know him personally. Okay. This is not a personal attack on him. But watch. 
Our children cannot differentiate, in most cases, the difference between Chadwick and Black Panther. Right. Correct. Right? Absolutely. Disney made that movie. Mm -hmm. One of the coldest, because I, 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 I get checks from... Them some of the cheapest motherfuckers on this fucking planet. Them motherfuckers <laughs> about their business. Mm -hmm. Understand, Disney is Disney. Yep. Always have been. All the way from Disney daddy. All right? So if we allow Black Panther to be our children's hero, mm -hmm. white people still control that pen. That's right. True. As it pertains to the check. Absolutely. And as it pertains to the story. Now, That's I was right. surprised some of the shit that they let go. Yep. But, like, I'll give you an example. I like Marvel's bad guys way better than I like... The good guys. Man, shit. You, besides him killing his girlfriend? Like, really? What? Killmonger was the shit. What? Killmonger was Malcolm. Right. Killmonger is David fucking Banner. Let's be clear. All the way Because he through. never said... Kill everybody. He said, kill the people who have oppressed our fucking people. Yep. He told them, y'all running around the world, fucking help Africa. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Besides, he, he shot the shit out of his girlfriend. Besides that, he blew her fucking chest off. But, but, <laughs> but he was right. Because, like, I, 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 I give you an example. The thing that it hurt me it's, the most yeah. was. If they would have left out the U.N. speech, well, we're going to open up the borders of Wakanda and help everybody in the fucking world. Like, come You'd on. You'd be cool. Like, That's you, the Disney you, spin. You, you, yeah. you, you giving, you, 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 Martin and Malcolm, you always. In this delicate yeah, 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 that's some bullshit. But let me get back to the point. White people gave Chadwick that opportunity. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. be clear. And they control and that And the problem with black people oh, yeah. is black people, our people, and I even notice it with me, we have, and I, be I believe it's partially because of slavery, we have this old, worn-out pimp theology where we try to guilt people into doing shit. Politics, we ain't going to ever get shit in politics until we pay for a politician. Politicians are whores. Understand yep. what they are. You buy the politician. If the whore, and I don't mean woman, when I say bitch, right. I mean the politician. If the bitch ain't doing what you say you do, you put your hands on it. That's Correct. right. Period. That's all politics is. Yep. So until black people invest money in power, power will never invest money in the black people. Yep. Let's be clear. Easy work. Poli politics yep. is much easier than we think it is. Yep. And until you Absolutely. get anybody to give you a black agenda, the yep. black agenda, because me and my mom, this is the worst, and I'm y'all ain't gonna even open up this can of worms, but I'm gonna just say it real quick. <laughs> I told my mama, if Barack Obama, before his second term, doesn't say exactly what he's going to do if he doesn't give an agenda the agenda is the contract the only thing he ever told black people he was going to give them was hope mm -hmm. and that's all he sold my the, Muslim friends Barack operated inside of that system period my Muslim friends he, say write yeah. down on a sheet of paper because if you look he gave 12 million dollars to the descendants mm -hmm. of Jewish people who were affected by the holocaust who were in America, right? Your people were in a fucking holocaust? Right, we were here You right can divide here. the time. Well, that's, uh, anyway, back to Chad. But, but he did not do that. I'm with you, 100%. Back to Chad. Now, the question is, could he have done that, though? Well, it, well, let me tell you what makes it so bad. Regardless of what we think, he could have done what the fuck he wanted to, because your boy and that bitch right Trump now doing running around feeling on wants. pussy, right. Right. doing whatever He's the fuck he wanted to do. He chose not to. Yeah. It's the same way I don't give a fuck what a rapper say. I don't give a fuck what a record company is doing. You make the decision to make a fucking song. You stand in front of that mic. Because his wife didn't give a fuck. She was harder than he was. That's true. Yeah. Technically <laughs> had thinking. more nuts. Yeah. But my point, let's go back to Chadwick. That if black people allow Black Panther to be their children's hero, just like Obama, every black skin is not your friend. That's right. When times get hard, they're always going to go back to the people who fed them. The people who put them in that situation. Yeah. And again, I'm not judging Chadwick. But when I Google him, which I have, 
outside of him being with the people he's in movies with, I always see him with white folks. Yeah. I don't never see him with black folks on his personal time. I just, in the pictures, I didn't. Right. I just didn't see it. Right. I'm with you. I'm, so I'm, I'm with so you. So in me saying that, again, it's not an attack on him, but when it comes down to it, yeah. and you got to choose a side, they're going to go with the people that feed them. And I'm going to give you an example with me. Somebody stood up at one of my lectures and say, David Banner, you just going around lecturing, because I had one of the, people don't know this, I had one of the top, if not the top, with the God Box lecture series two years ago, I was like the one of the top, or if not the top, black lecturers, right. lecturers on the lecture circuit. People, you just That's coming around, you just coming around, speaking to black folks, taking their money. I said, watch this. You pay go to college, don't you? A lot. A lot. You ain't no problem with the white folks charging you. And I said, the other thing is, is if that if we are constituents. If it come down to it, I've already made my choice. That's why I say some of the shit that I've said on TV. It's just the case. I told somebody one time, the reason why I got Mississippi tattoo, I don't even like tattoos. Let's be mm -hmm. clear. Every tattoo on my body is because of something. Right. Yeah. The reason why I got Mississippi, because I went to, I, I went, me and the tattoo artist, we spoke cartoon in LA who don't tattoo everybody. Um, we talked about it. It was a spiritual thing. And the reason why I got Mississippi on my back is even if I turn my back on my people, Ooh. it is still say Mississippi. Oh. I like that. Mississippi, okay. So I made a choice. So you yeah. have to be careful. When you say role model, you, gotta, you have to distinguish what role you want your child to play in America. I don't want my child to be like Obama. I'd rather my child be like Pop than Obama because Obama did not stand for his people. I have more respect, and people are going to get this fucked up, but I have more respect for a person who stands on their fucking goals and what I have more respect for Trump as a man than I do for Obama. Because he told you what he was going to do. He said he, he never played you. He has consistently been what he said he was going to be. The Ku Klux Klan said that they don't fuck with black folks and Jewish people, right? That shit ain't going to change. The black church, black revolution has changed, and, 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 and we move for the way that America fucking feels. The folks stand on something. I remember... The uh, reading about, I did an uh, extensive study on Malcolm X, and they said the head of the Klan during that time loved Malcolm because they said at least he stand for something. Mm. He ain't one of these childish-ass Negroes who don't have a backbone. Mm. All I want to know is what you stand on. That's right. Then I know what to deal with. Yeah, you know what you got to. But in but front I, of man, you. I, I told a motherfucker, and 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 and, and again, I don't want to bash. I don't want to bash. Though. I don't want to bash a black man. Yeah. But I do want to be clear about something. Yeah. Black folks always talk about role model and hope. Right. See, we 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 get this church, we get church mixed up <laughs> in business <laughs> when we're supposed to separate. Right. right. So so check this out. If you want hope. Go to church. If you want a role model, go to the Boys and Girls Club. Right. Politics is business. 100. Because what you going to fuck around and do, like my, like my Muslim friends taught me, if you can't write it down on a sheet of paper, you've been duped. So if it's hope, That's role right. models, oh, shit, them motherfuckers got 12 mil. Uh, it, it ain't measurable. It ain't specific. Exactly. Yeah. It's, you can't do and, shit with Then it. it's not achievable, right? At, you can't, at all. You, right. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, at, you at just, all. But going back to your point, it feels good. So Chadwick, back to Chadwick, we have to make sure. And that's one of the reasons why I am afraid of this new push that they have to put black people in uh, all these films. Because that's going to do the same thing integration did. Now mm -hmm. we're not going to fight anymore. To control our own images, right? That's it's our own narrative. It, it, it's something they give you to make you be quiet. But this, this is my concern, right? I, I got a couple concerns. One, I sit on both sides because I want to see us included. I do, right? But what I recognize is, it's always been a trick. 
right? It's always been a trick. When there's enough black faces in all these places that make us feel good, what we're forgetting is we're giving up the power and the control for them to tell the stories that influence our future generations to become the men and women that they will be, right? With integration, you don't even have the right to, you don't even have a say-so on Because exactly. you're not doing the integrating. You are being exactly. integrated. You <laughs> yeah. don't even have say so on what your child is being taught. Exactly. Correct. I talk about Correct. this all the time. Um, I was one of the people that was try was attempting to help bring um, the academies. The academies is something that um, we saw in Nashville. Right. And I wanted to try to bring to Jackson, Mississippi, right. where these kids are building rockets. They have actual banks. Instead of they, them donating money, they build a bank. And if you want to do banking, then what they did is open up the whole city and you can go to whatever school. After the kids who stay in that zone, how many ever slots that's open, anybody from all over the school can go. The only it. thing is that you relinquish your rights to get public busing. Okay. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? So they let yeah. you go to any school that you want to as right. long as you fill them slots. All right, so I was trying to bring that to Jackson. And one of the things that I told, you know, JPS, I was like, yo, man, like, to this day, Right now, Jackson Public Schools is over 90% black. I heard it was 99%, yeah. but because I don't have the empirical data, it's I how know. I just, I just had that conversation with a friend. I know it's 90%. Yeah. So actually now, it's pretty high. we have the right to teach an African-based Right, we teach our way. Exactly. Yes. But them they, well. But see, see, but you gotta, <laughs> you gotta be, I yeah, got you. You, you gotta be. In the mindset to 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 operate but that way. Statistically, we can fight for like it's no. But my point is, my point is, we don't even have a, if our child right now, if they ask the question, "Who discovered America?" If our child doesn't mark Christopher Columbus, they's he's wrong. wrong. He wrong or yeah. she wrong. So to 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 me, one of the sad things and one of the sad places that we are in to me. Mm -hmm. And I know this sounds harsh, but I think the biggest problem in America is that most black people don't like, nor do they want to be black. Yeah, They deal with it. They fight for certain things because they don't have no choice. Yeah, yeah. But like I see, I, I see the way that we treat each other. I see the way that we talk to each other. I had a friend of mine that said that, you know, I believe... You know, no, I love. I said, well, I know you love, or we wouldn't be sitting in the same yeah. room. I'm together. glad you said it like that. I, I tell people all the time, black people love to say we love black mm -hmm. people, but, but you don't, don't truly love them. Because if you your think about how you don't act your with someone the way who that you, you love. Spin. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But I, I'll tell you one of the The exes. way that you spin. Right, the way that you spin. You know, Because you know we are, we, 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 we buy that bread. We buy that right. bread. Yep. That's right. I'll give you a quick example. That's so um, true. I, I'll give you a quick example. This is how you shut folks up. <clears throat> People always blame the internet on the fall of black music. That's a fucking lie. Yeah. Um, Justin Bieber does very well doing black music. Justin Timberlake, Timberlake does yeah. very well. Adele does very well. Mm -hmm. But if you tell, uh, what would what they say, a believer? <laughs> right. That you got a bootleg copy of Justin Bieber's new album? That motherfucker may fucking murder you. Right. Yeah. They're not happy with it. It's the shit. not about black music. It's about how black people Thanks. feel yeah. about black folks. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. We don't see any worth in self. Correct. Therefore, we don't see any worth in other people. And it, it goes right like back to your absolutely. point earlier why they look at you sideways when you're charging for a ticket to come get this knowledge. Mm -hmm. But they'll pay all day long. Mm -hmm. It's like, like yeah. Justin Blue I'm said, the white man's that. ice is yeah. not colder. I'm Correct. Glad, I'm glad you said it. By so, no to, means. Right. so to finish that thought, I told them, I said, when it came down to it, if it came down to me making a decision between you and the system, you better be glad that you are paying me and not the system. Because yes. the first thing that God put us on this earth to do was to survive. That's so, it. And white people know that. That's the reason why they set us up. Uh, They've that, been that, surviving. And that's the reason why they, 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 if you ever notice whenever they have a drug epidemic, they always dry the weed up. Oh, yeah. In the neighborhood. <laughs> they always do. Because we're trying to survive. Correct. Most of us just trying to get away from the fucking pain. Correct. Yeah. And that's what we yeah. So, so shit. I when, when I go talk to the high school Absolutely. teachers, I always ask them. I was like, "Yo, if um, you had a choice between 
working at McDonald's and selling crack, what would you do? Teacher said, I work at McDonald's. You're fucking lie. Right. <laughs> and that's the reason why. Now, they, because, don't, they can't respect you because they don't believe be, you. Right. Because I know yeah, what crack was. Like right. Now, I may not sell no crack, but some pills, right. some weed. It's going to be something. It's going to be something. something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be something. And they didn't even talk about that. The fact that you motherfuckers let these white folks put pookie ass in jail for 40 years. Right. For half a pound of weed. Fuck and these white it. boys out here selling weed and they ain't got pookie out of jail. It's some bush. And they about to start making more. No, nah, man, yes. but I, I cannot. Honestly, say, bro. Um, bro, I really, I'm really enjoying. Good. Oh yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. I don't. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. One thing, bro. Like, you get tired of answering the same fucking questions all over and over again. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We just want to have, have a good conversation. I'd have last fun. Time. Yep. Um, y'all have not only match my level of intensity, but in some cases <laughs> made me think about. No, I'm serious. Yeah. Made me think about some shit. So I, I actually have some things to take away. Appreciate that. And you that. know what? Um. I would ask y'all come and do my podcast. Oh, 100, like, I bro. enjoy y'all that much. 100, like we, yeah. I'll be reciprocal. Yeah, one I'm, I'm going to do something the brother ain't nobody do. I'm, I'm picking black businesses, um, and I'm giving them free advertisement. That's so dope. Show. That's like, so dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, yeah. yeah. And shit, it's enough of them just in Atlanta alone. Uh, and and I want to say, I, I say something really quick. Um, I want y'all to see what I'm going to do for Atlanta. Right. Yeah. Uh, I and all the rest of these motherfuckers who came to Atlanta to get on, we owe the state of Georgia, and we owe Atlanta. And I'll say the reason why me being a Mississippian that I owe Atlanta, I bet you anybody that I ever say this to say, damn, I never thought about it this way. But think about how deep this shit is. Right. Just about every other rapper that came to Atlanta Mm -hmm. had to say they was from Atlanta. Right, right. Atlanta, Atlanta shot for me so much. They supported me so much. They knew I was from Mississippi. Let me scream Mississippi. And one of the things I never correct people on who hate on me, but since I know, since y'all understand where we from and we from similar places and from the same places, this is a lot of people tell, and I'm going to say it straight here, and I never said it before in public, but I'm going to say it on here. Right. Most people say it. I um I got on in Mississippi and moved to Atlanta. That's a lie. Right. Mm-hmm. I got on in Atlanta and moved back to Mississippi. Mississippi. Bone Crusher, T.I., Jerry Smoking B, at Hot is what broke like a pimp nationally. That's, that's, that's how that's I got the biggest And what's when you crazy? Said, I was like, oh, what's crazy? Shit. And to show you yeah. again the serendipity, it was because the NBA. Um, All Star game, game was here, yeah. so everybody took um, never scared and like a pimp. So it was a guy that was living, that was homeless, living in his. Um, that was the reason why I got such a big deal. That was living in his van, who was getting played all over the United States, and that was before the South really blew up. Wow. So with the except, oh. I don't, I don't believe with the exception of maybe like Outkast and and Lil Jon and Three Six, people were not getting played in all fifty states. Because right. you know how white some of those states are. Yes, sir. Right. Right. Like, right. right. So, like, that. Atlanta, and I had somebody to tell me this, man. Like, and it sort of it hurt me. They was like, damn, man, like, we helped you and you left us. Mm. So, in actuality, most Mississippians think I turned my back on them when in actuality the place that really, you know what I'm saying? Right, yep. Like, mo- yep. but monetarily. But you like, brought that love clear. back right. home. But you, and I yeah. went back home and people still. They, they probably thought the same thing or something. No, right? they still do. You know, oh. yeah, to this day. But I, what I learned about right knowledge is when you know better, as long as you okay, they don't let people say. Like sometimes and your actions are showing. Sometimes I could stop certain things, but if you doing better by talking about me, if that helps right. you, let it be. Yeah, let it be. Yeah, yeah. let it be. Yeah, because like, yeah. you still blessing folks. You mm-hmm. know what yeah. I mean? So like. I feel like we owe Atlanta, That's a different man. Different consciousness like, right there. We got oh, Atlanta to me. I've been all over the world. Like I told Tip this one time, man. Like I was like Tip, you because if you notice about the South, this is one of the things that I'm scared of. Everybody talking about the South, the South, the South, the South, the South, the South, the South. Until we could cut a check from here, we just somebody else's cash cow. Yeah. Until we get our Will Smith. Yeah. Until we get our Queen Latifah, until we get our Ice Cube, yep. until we get our Jay-Z, 
If Correct. this shit pass, what can we say we really done besides right. make somebody else a lot of money? Mm -hmm. I told Hennessy that I almost had the Hennessy account, or I think I did, um, for the for the uh, um, um, the Super Bowl, and I told him, I said, if it's really about money, like Atlanta is the number one place for movies on this planet. Correct. We're number one in every um, music genre except country, and that's Nashville. Yeah. So in actuality, if we're going to go by straight statistics, which y'all claim that's the only thing y'all care about, Atlanta. this is where you should be spending the most money, and you're not. So what's the problem? Mm -hmm. So while we have Atlanta, and I'm going to tell y'all something. I was going to wait for my podcast, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop this on y'all, and I'm going to let y'all run with this. All right. I tried to figure out why these white governors were doing this bullshit and risking billions of dollars. All this revenue. Yeah. I figured it out. Good, because I want to know that's yeah, what I've been wondering out. this Drop this nugget. I figured it out. I'm talking about them white boys from Mississippi, North Mississippi. Okay. I'm talking about them Southern Georgia white boys. Right. Mm -hmm. Who deep, still, deep. like, that mean that Confederate shit. Right, 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 right. Yeah, right. They might have it tatted. I don't give a fuck how you whoop them white boys. You can beat them. I'm talking about to the blood come out their mouth. They still spitting and call you a nigga. Right. You'll oh, never, right. You'll, you'll never beat that out. And it ain't about no fucking money. Mm -mm. It's about culture. It mm -hmm. goes so much deeper. Yeah. So think about this. What are the two things that Atlanta are known, is known for the most? Black people and what? Ooh. I'm, I'm, still, I'm going off the shit, shit in my like, head ooh. like... I see black people strip clubs, but <laughs> <laughs> like I'm thinking real time, like music, movies, peaches, like. Okay, so I'm not. True. I'm not gonna okay. say that. Yep. So yep. what that do is true. That's, that's, what that's do good. southern that's... white boys hate the most? So what we have to understand. <laughs> let's be that's, clear. That's real shit. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. I'm, I'm about to take it further. All right, all right, yeah. all right. Atlanta is a red state, correct? I mean, uh, Georgia is a red state, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. With yeah. a blue heart. Correct. Yeah. The white Atlanta. boys uh, cut that heart out before. Damn, that makes spring. so much sense. So what they're doing is it's Atlanta so is going right. to exponentially spread, and them black boys going to start fucking them white girls. Oh. And oh. and Georgia is mm. going to turn into Atlanta. White people Absolutely. will blow this motherfucker up, up they before they let that happen. Before they allow us to have it. I I ooh. So while we talking yeah, about the yes. fucking bag, yeah, this shit is. So we could take this and, and we could chop this up and put this in. Like, bro, let me tell you, my, my naturopathic healer, the same one that told stuff. me about good and evil, mm -hmm. I asked her what she was reading. And she said, David Bennett, it's not about reading anymore. You read a little bit and you ponder. I spend more time pondering. You can't hear God. That's one of my criticisms of, of church. Mm -hmm. You can't hear God until you shut your fucking mouth. Yeah. Ooh, that's real. We pray. We pray and God made the one thing that we don't do. First of all, we don't meditate and prepare. That's one thing I respect Muslims. They prepare themselves. Who are you as dirty as we are? Think mm -hmm. we're ready to go to God anytime we want to. Mm. You have to prepare yourself. And with all the problems that we have, our mind is running anyway. That's why I meditate. Correct. So I meditate. And you I ask the question that. and I stop. Mm. This is how I know I'm getting older. It's because... I sit on my porch. I can sit on my porch all day. I used to could not sit anywhere longer than 15 minutes. I sit and I listen to God. Mm. So I was sitting back wondering, what the fuck? Like, these white boys, are they about to fuck up billions of dollars? I know they about to bag. What yep. is it? You, I sat on the porch and listened to God. Because it's something bigger than and the And I bags realized, I was like, yo. Yep. So what they want is they, what they want is they want to drive away the good white boy. Or the white boys who don't mind spending money mm. with black culture. So let's get Marvel the fuck away from here. We'll burn this bitch down and start over. Because mm. they got that old new. money anyway. That's real shit. Like, bro, I'm... Because you know what? They, a lot of them decisions didn't make a whole bunch of sense until you just said so that. Look, that. Like, that's a piece to the puzzle to say, how the fuck do we combat that? Bro... Mm. And we don't love ourselves mm -hmm. on top of that. That's it. Right. These motherfuckers will live. That's why I, I, I So I, we don't love ourselves and we don't understand that we under. What? And then they we don't love we themselves. Yep. And Absolutely. we ain't ready. Absolutely. Yo, I was telling a friend Ooh. of mine yep. before, I was like, I, 
I know you don't. I, I was like, man, y'all talk all this stuff about God. Yeah, I ain't got no faith. And they're like, what do you mean, Dave Banner? I said, them Muslims Oof. over the water? Like, and I know I'm a God. Devout. I still ain't quite got this bomb shit. Like, <laughs> strapping the bombs. Bruh, that's I'm a working, whole I'm, different. I'm working that's a whole, on it. That's a that's whole different. I'm working that's So real. imagine if yep. you at war with that kind of motherfucker. Oh, you, you, you can't, can't win. win. All right. There so, is, there, it's impossible so to win against a war like that. So let's turn it down one more time, and then we're going to take it back. All right. What black people don't understand is this is not, this is not a social war. This is not a mental war. This is not an emotional war. Now, that is the residual right. effect right. of what right. I'm about right. to tell you. Right. Mm -hmm. This is a genetic warfare. For, this is genetic warfare for them. They are not reproducing fast enough to sustain themselves we in the next about this. 15 Absolutely. years. Yep. Absolutely. You know? And that's right into terrified. that integration shit, too. These white folks are not playing. Yes, they're terrified at this point. Now, it's, 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 it's survival, By bro. 2048... Most of the country will be brown. brown. That's gonna look like Prince. That's right. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's just it's That's gonna be right in the middle. It's right. only gonna get brown. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But 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 what I'll say, do not why you think it's that. an immigration issue? But what why I will tell you, this now I, I have to now we have to turn it back to the good part. Right. Our people, I haven't seen consciousness in our people at this level. In my whole entire life. Yes, yeah. that's but real. This, this is the scary part, though. And it's increasing. These children, they always say these children are lost. These children are not lost. They just don't want our parents' bullshit. Right, right. So they are a blank sheet of paper. But we have to write it in. That was the reason why I made the God box. Right. Because I remember, bro, I was right. I was just about, just so y'all know, the God box is the last album I put out. Charlemagne said from the the Breakfast Club that this may be one of the best albums in history ever. It's um, dope. It's real talk for me. Um, I can relate to it though. Um, I, can, I can understand it. But it's it's even the way that we look at each other. Like people cannot register the fact that a Southern man from Mississippi made that album. Mm -hmm. a Southern man is calling himself a god in the Bible Belt. And let me show you what's even deeper than that. Let me show you what's even deeper than that. Everybody is waiting for a super nigga to Correct. come out of Mississippi. When some of the most intelligent artists, maybe of recent time, think about this. If you know your history, mm -hmm. then you know about Tito Lopez from the coast, mm -hmm. who is arguably the poor man's Nas. Absolutely. I would put, I would verse for verse, I would put Tito Lopez, because he was... He was Kendrick Lamar for Dr. Dre. People oh. don't know that. Go back and, and, and I Google about Tito him Lopez. You, actually. Go Google him and see he was working with Dr. Dre. Yeah. And then something happened. I mean, y'all find that out. All right. You got Tito Lopez. You got David Banner. You got Big Crit. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And then yes, you sir. got it's, Ray Schrummer. Big wait, Crit wait, wait, wait. is so real. <laughs> then you got Ray Schrummer, mm -hmm. who's fucking around on the Beatles level. Mm-hmm. Mississippi. Literally yeah. on, on literally on the level that these boys is pushing out <laughs> records now. Mm -hmm. And staying on these charts. And, they track mm -hmm. and then they want to act like that we don't have a scene. Yeah. It's just not the scene, the stereotypical scene. Right. You know, and, and I'll even tell people this. People are shocked when I say this. White people in Mississippi, I love white people in Mississippi more than I love any white person on this planet. And people will be like, why you say that? Because if white people in Mississippi love you, they will die for you. And you'll know it. If they hate you, they're going to try to kill you. And you'll know it. Again, what did I tell <laughs> yeah, you all I want to know? Right. I just want to know where I, I know stand. Where you stand. If you yep. see white people in Mississippi, because they, I found this out it's from selling, for selling records. There are certain lines and streets, like right there, um, um, right there before North Park, Mm -hmm. The white folks don't go over that fuck. I mean, it's like a line like, like, right, that's right invisible. Right there, right there, right there, right there, the motherfuckers don't go past. Yeah, you turn. <laughs> when I had the Firewater Boys, they told me that. I was like, man, these white boys love me. Like, why I ain't got Because they said, because you not in North Park. That's if right. your album was in North Park, you probably would have sold seven, eight, nine, ten thousand 10,000 more <laughs> records. But they do not. So if you see a white boy in the Queens, he fucking with he you. He fuck with black folks. That's yeah. real. Because he definitely ain't got to fuck down. with you. Yep. You feel me? So for, 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 for me... Knowing where they stand. It's, it's yep. about knowing where everybody stands. Yep. 
That's black or white. Mm -hmm. And I, having a position. I, I really, I'll tell y'all this. And, and, and then we're going to wrap up. Um, first of all, go to davidbanner.com and buy something. <laughs> go visit. Um, <laughs> Support. The David Banner Podcast. Subscribe. Five-star rating. Write me a love letter. <laughs> um, but I'll tell y'all this. <clears throat> you remember when I told you that most black people don't like being black? Yep. Mm -hmm. Do y'all want me to tell you this, the most simplistic way for them to stop killing our children? Please break it down. Oh, yeah. Innocent children. Right. And I'm going to answer this question by asking you all a question. Okay. <clears throat> if you kill a Russian in America, right. an innocent Russian child, who come into your house? The, 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 the federal government, the Russians. The fucking Putin. Yep. That white bitch with the, uh, they, they and Rocky their own. with the high top. <laughs> <laughs> Drago. All of them. All the motherfuckers. Yeah. If you kill an Asian, an innocent Asian. Oh, yeah, they come. In America. Now, understand that I do understand that we don't have a flag. Right. We don't right, have right. a country that will come to, to our, our aid. When we need it. I do understand that, yep. but let's still keep it real. Right, but we still should have some unity. Or, or, or honesty. Watch yep. this. Oh, I know. <laughs> if you kill an Asian. Yeah. Who coming to your house? Oh, China coming. That's it. Ninjas, yeah. the Yakuza, yeah. the yeah. motherfuckers. You know they break dance better than us now. Yeah. The motherfuckers gonna drift into your house the, like the lady, Fast and the Furious. Lady that eight. do fried rice around the corner. They all coming. So <laughs> right, so, right. So with ninjas, we nine, are the only people who white people. And then they talk this shit about black on black crime, white on white crime. Statistically, yeah, white people kill each other. Well, only two point. Nah, uh, you kill where you are. It's only yeah. It's, it's only it's, it's only two points less. And statistically, yep. that is no different. And they both in the eighties. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like eighty seven and eighty five. Yep. There is no difference. It's a fucking low B. Yep. Yeah. So my it's point is this: you kill who you are around. Yep. So white people kill as much as many people at the same rate. As a matter of fact, per capita, yep. it's more white people anyway. So the amount of white yep. people and the they have higher. the reports by the, the federal government that the biggest threat to America is it's white wind. supremacist <laughs> groups. But let's That's keep it. moving. That's not even the point that I'm trying to make. Because nobody wants to hear that. Right, come on. This is the point. The reason why they kill our children is because they know that we won't do shit. Yeah. If a white cop felt like something, and I'm not saying that this is what we should do, but again, white supremacy only respects the loss of money or the loss of life. Correct. I, I've been saying that. So, so understand, so they won't try to pick me apart. Mm -hmm. Is that we we all agree that all these all these subsections of people, that's what they would do. We've already seen mm -hmm. that. Yep. Okay. Yep. But when an innocent black child is being... Let's, let's talk about Eric Garner really quick, yep. okay? The most powerful thing that I barely ever hear anybody talk about, where did he get killed? New York. Where, though? On the sidewalk On the outside sidewalk. of a corner where? store. Outside, in his neighborhood. In his fucking neighborhood, yep. in front of everybody he knew. And then yep. one motherfucker do shit. Correct. In front of his In your people. hood! In your, in your bro, country. Bro, think about... Yeah. Bro, I... Bro, I broke a motherfucker. This is, and, and, and I'm, not, I'm not better than in nobody else. I just listen to God. Mm -hmm. In Baltimore. Same Baltimore time. is one of the buckest cities on this planet. I know where you're going. I'm with you. Bro, bro. they talk about how violent. I'm bro, when them white folks came, they, I didn't hear one gunshot. Cor not one. Wow. And I'll show you how dope. Cause, cause, cause I try to be military minded in all that I do. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why they took so long to march down the streets is because they had the buildings on both sides, and they knew without enough manpower yep. that they would have been blocked off. Cause that's how they built. We are so smart that we call it the trap. They call it social engineering. Yep. But we call it the trap. It's only one way, one way, one way in, one way out. That's right. Mm -hmm. So my my point is, if we want them to stop killing our children, stop leaving it up. To the same people who killed your innocent child. To provide their justice. Their aunts, uncles, grandparents. From a scientific perspective, they said the biggest thing that you have going for you when you're in front of a judge is not the law, but guess what? What's that? His relationship to you. Mm. Mm. You look like his nephew. Mm -hmm. If you remind him of, of his, his friend. Yep. 
But, he, can, he can find that empathy when you have that relationship. Will, it's a connection. Yeah. I will leave y'all with this. The main reason why I think black people won't fight back is because when we see white people, we automatically connect white people with Jesus. Yeah. So we're constantly forgiving white people over yeah. and over again. And when we see black folks, we see the devil. Yeah. Damn. Free your mind. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion. Hey, folks. Bruh. This has been a hell of an episode. I know we closing. I want to say one thing real quick. One thing real quick. <laughs> Mr. Banner hit us with something we've talked about before. He said He's so many nuggets. that the people in control, the oppressors, only fear loss of money and loss, and loss of, of life. life. As and I'm going to tell you, we don't have the ability to truly impact their money on the scale we need to because we lack unity. And if we impact their life the way we could, then we face jail time because we don't control the system. So I'll leave you with one thing. I don't believe in heroes or villains. I believe in heroic moments. And I want you to choose yours. <gasps> Peace. Man, we out. <laughs>